Hi guys and welcome to Cultonomics. My name is Paul Hanley and today I'm going to be chatting to you about short run aggregate supply and aggregate demand equilibrium. In this video we are moving on to examine equilibrium in our short run aggregate demand aggregate supply model. So what we have seen thus far in the videos is that an aggregate demand curve can be represented by a downward sloping line and this shows that there's a negative relationship between the price level and expenditure in the economy. And we went through three reasons for this, real balance effect, competitiveness effect, liquidity effect, etc. Now, we are looking at as well the short run aggregate supply curve and we've noted that this is an upward sloping line. We will call this short run aggregate supply and we note that it's upward sloping because of price and wage rigidities. So we know due to price conceptions and sticky wage theory that it, this is an upward sloping line showing a positive relationship between the price level and the output level in the economy. Now, if we start off initially at a higher price level than where these two curves intersect, what we can show is that at price level one, for example, we have a situation where it cuts the aggregate demand curve over this point here. We can say maybe that this is expenditure of 50 billion in our economy. And over here, we have a point where it cuts the short run aggregate supply curve. And let's say that this represents 100 billion output in the economy. So with 50 billion being demanded in terms of spending, 100 billion being produced, what you will find is that firms will start to accumulate stocks over here in this and if they accumulate stocks and inventories that will provide a signal for them and for general firms in the economies to start reducing price levels to sell off this stock and in that situation what we'll see is we come back to an equilibrium point down here so what does that equilibrium point actually mean what it means is it is a price at equilibrium here where the expenditure, aggregate expenditure in the economy is equal to the aggregate output level. So what it shows is that there's a GDP level in the economy and we'll call that GDP equilibrium whereby a, there is a price associated with it that markets clear expenditure equals output in the economy and what is being produced is actually being bought in that economy. So if we take the other example where the price level is relatively low at P2 here, what we see is it hits the short run aggregate supply curve over on the left here. So let's say supply aggregate supply is 30 billion in the economy and aggregate, aggregate demand is up at about 100 billion. So in this case, we have very little output on aggregate compared to expenditure in the economy and we will see in this situation that inventories the stock levels of firms will start to reduce rapidly so they will use up any stockpiles that they have and this will be a signal for firms to start increasing the price level and if they increase prices again we should get back to our equilibrium price over here so whichever way we start in the economy the tendency should be towards equilibrium where there's one point where aggregate expenditure is equal to aggregate output with an associated price level. I hope you call back to Cultnomics soon. Bye for now.